Right, welcome back folks to an action packed day of Dormouth Fishing Adventures. We're out here on the river and I'm just going to go on the river because it's really windy, it's southwest of the ocean, just been no good. I'm just out here to have a beer, mate, just trying to relax, chillax and get a few fish. That's the way to go. You can't go wrong. Let's go. So it's just around here, there's a nice trench here and then there's a shallow bank, so I'm going to start trolling here. So there's still no trailer, no sign of it. I'm probably pushing my luck too because it's what, 11 o'clock, midday, prime time for the tail of the morning, late afternoons, just to soak it up. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, and he just jumped out. Now it's on lighter gear, this one here. And I actually changed the uh, the lure to a, to the uh, double, oh, double, double clutch diver. And this guy here, <laughs> it's like a milli marlin. Give me curry. Oh, he spat it. He spat it. Yeah, so those. Oh, shit. That's no good. Oh, who put this sign right here? Holy moly. Scared the crap out of me. This one here got hit. Sorry about the camera and the uh, audio. That's what happens sometimes is <laughs> these cameras just stop. Oh, it's a good size too, this one. Oh, and you spat it! Oh, man. Well, we made it all the way to the city. Not many fish today. The wind's picking up. Let's see if there's any fish around here. It's a dip of water. So we're all the way down to the Narrows. I think I might have to go to my old spots for some tailor. Pretty confident to pick up one, one or two more. Finally we're on. <laughs> I just saw something on the sounder signifying fish. I quickly just checked up the lure and bada bing. So my old spot's paying off. It's not over yet until I land him. Oh, don't spit. It is a good size. Have I got some fish tucker? Woo! Oh man, talk about persistence paying off. And what I've done, I've actually got rid of the top barb there because it's just getting tangled up too much. That one there could be a size one. Just let them calm down a bit. Alrighty, come on mate. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so it's just hooked on the bottom. Bottom jaw. Oh. And it's pretty bouncy too. Pretty bouncy. Let's see if he's a sizey. Definitely size. That's what I came out here for. It's taken me a while. Come to the old spot. Lovely. Gee, it's a lot better up here at the front as opposed to the back. So I just casually trolling now. Let's do it again. One again. This time they went for the double clutch, which is good. Here he is. Oh, come on. Come around the other side. Oh, yeah. He's just side, I think, this one. Beauty. Always a pleasure. Have on board. Let's grab the pliers. Okay, mate. All right, just calm down. Let's have a look. Yep, another 35 centimeter. Fine specimen of a tailor. Absolutely perler. This one's on. 
just when I thought I was going to change lures. Nice fish. Get ready for the double clutch. Whoa, nice fish. Having troubles trying to bite him. Light a line. Looks like he's only coming the other side here. Alright, we're gonna complain. Come over here. Nice fish. Should be tired by now. There you go. So we can get him up on the water. Oh yep. Yeah. He's felt a lot heavier. Still it's another fine specimen of a fish. Right under the chin. Perfect hookup. Alright. Whew. There we go. Just lovely. Love lie specimen. He's about 33, 35, thanks very much. So we're getting a couple. Taking a while, but just to bleed him. Enjoying this great afternoon. I think I'll just keep one more. Whoa, double hookup. Double hookup. Oh, look at that one go off. Look at that one go off. Oh, and we're coming around. The wind's helped me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Come on. Is he? <laughs> Skull dragon, this one. Good size. Oh, that's dangerous. Open up the bale arm. Go, okay, mate. You can stay there for a while. He's definitely a size. I'm not going to injure him. Woo! Good size and he really ran on this one. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> so hard on this little rod. It's got a short butt. So you can't use it as a leverage. It's coming around the other side of the boat. Mate, you want to come on this side? Come on this side. Do yourself a favour. Good size, man. Can barely pick him out of the water. Okay, here we go. Yeah, good size. Woo! Double tailor. Double bite. Hook up. Awesome. So I kept that one over there. This guy here's still here. Right, oh, it's a two tailor in quick succession. Lovely, I'll bleed them later on. Salud. Double hook up again. Yeah, double hook up again. Oh, this is a lot smaller, this one. Another double hook up. And this one's still on. Surprisingly, the other one's still on the floor. Let's see the camera just dies. I've got to swap it over. But yeah, there's some great fish out here. I tell you what, all in this one bank. So pretty happy that I came down here all the way up from the river. Definitely got a good feed. Here he comes right here. Oh, and he's still fighting hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. Can't believe you stayed on all that long. <clears throat> Alrighty. Two hookups. <laughs> Camera failed. But fish is not failing today. Woo! So we're just going over the shallow bank now. The tide is coming up. A few birds, you can see the marker there already where I caught those double hookups. Great fun. Ooh. 
nice and fresh, bled in ice. Fitting all bled, that one here's not bled. Yeah, so some great size tailors. So I'm pretty happy, got a nice feed. The swan producers. <laughs> all right, let's pack them up and uh, do another cook up. Yeah, boy! Woo! Let's get out of here! Alrighty, look what we got here. Beautiful tailor fillets. I've already filled them up. I've already chopped them up too, diced them up. Cherry tomatoes, onions, garlic, chili, basil. Look, I'm gonna make a real simple marinara. I wanna throw in some uh, some chili, um, some, some garlic prawns in as well. Sorry about the lighting, but we'll try and get through it before it gets too dark. So we'll start off with a bit of olive oil. Throw in the garlic and the onion and the chili as well. Now for these beautiful cherry tomatoes, love them. Absolutely love them. Just let them cook down a bit. And because they're not that ripe, I'm actually adding some sugar. A little bit of flavour. Right, so as these cherry tomatoes start cooking, you can actually start crushing them. Express all that nice juice out of it. Just add a little bit of water. I want to dry it out a bit. Now, start the show, these tailor pieces give it a really good fishy flavour to the marinara. And a handful of these already pre-marinated prawns, they won't take long to cook. Yeah, so the, so the tailor fillets are already starting to turn white. Just let it cook for a good five minutes. Get all those juices and flavours infused. What do you got the the big billy boiling with some linguine? What a treat! You can see those. Look at that. It's just turned white. Beautiful tailor. Got throwing some herbs. It's basil. Heaps of it too. Oh yeah, that's looking fantastic. Oh, and the aroma of this here, the seafood, the tail of the prawns, fantastic. In fact, I'm going to turn this off because I don't want these prawns to cook too much. Let's put the spaghetti in the, to the sauce. Again, it's probably way too much spaghetti, but you can never have enough. Just let that slowly cook away just a little bit, probably for two or three minutes. Just add a bit of the pasta water. There you go. Nicely cooked al dente. Let it sit for five, ten minutes. It'll be spot on, and that just smells great. A bit more parsley. That's looking fantastic. So just for the taste test, I have a demo plate <laughs> because I'm going to go inside and enjoy it with mum. It's a bit of the pasta, a bit of the tailor, which is the star of the show, and just one prawn. Put that back there. But I've got a fork this time, so let's hoe into it. Some of the sauce, the tail up, what you need after a big out, big day out there on the water. Oh yeah, it smells really very nourish. That's a marinara and a half. That is really fishy in flavour. And try the prawn. Hmm. Prawn and the Tyler, really good combo. Anyway, I'm out of here. If you like what I'm doing, mm -hmm.
I take my glass and fish. Tucker. Make sure you like fish. it. Fish. Tucker. 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 Tucker.